just audio wise. But if the audio isn't coming through, that's fine. You can let me know. Alright, so we got that turned down a little bit there, so it's not quite so much. I just need to make sure that it's picking up my voice okay on the recording side of things. So I apologize for the early stream mic adjustment here. As I'm in VR, I will not be able to read chat, but I am on speech chat, so if you have anything to say to me while I'm playing, feel free to uh, message me over speech chat. And of course, if you're among my friends who can join my Discord, by all means, I'm in the channel. I'd love to talk. Yeah. Well, let's get back into the view instead of just staring at this intro screen. Good morning. So, back in VR, Outer Wilds again. Let's strap our alien hands back onto our wrists, shall we? Right hand. So I'm going to stream for about 90 minutes, so I don't want to waste too much time here. Go ahead and back into my good uh, vantage point here. Alright, well, let's get back to it. So this game takes place in space bunch of different planets surrounding a star that is about to go supernova. That's the gist of what we've uh, picked up at the beginning. There's an alien culture that we're researching their uh, lost languages with our little translator device. Let's see if it loads up properly. Look at your main hand. All right, we're awake again. And we saw it launch off somewhere. I think it went that way. Anyway, I have the launch codes because this is not our first time waking up. And at my sides, I have my tra uh, translator tool, which is very useful. And on the other side, I have my uh, scope. Adjust my scope. Seems to be moving very gradually in that direction. Almost got the lock. on the moon. Anyway, this nifty little device will be useful for tracking different things uh, in space as we travel because everything's moving at once here. So, looking down like that, I know I'm scuffing the mic, so I'm going to make a little adjustment. And hopefully this doesn't mess with the game sound too much. Hopefully if you guys can still hear me, you'll let me know. All right, the ship. Let's go ahead and jump on board. We will suit up. Can't remember how to suit up. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, Pre-flight checklist. Yeah. 
flight checklist. All right. Jetpack, auto boost, which you can turn on or off. Increase time. With, yep. Okay. Auto translator equipped. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. All right, so we're in our spacesuit now. All right. The little scout can be sent to see beyond the horizon. Excuse me. You can test the environment for various things. Check for hazards. Just a nifty little device to deploy at times. It's this puppy right here. Which I'll have to remember to use periodically. We have our shiny little grav crystal here that keeps our gravity working in here. I don't remember if this does anything. Oh yes, our handy planetary chart of the outer wilds. We're in Timberhearth, and the Adel Rock is what I was pointing at Esker a minute ago. I paid a visit to Brittle Hollow a few times. Um and fell into a black hole. And then when I fell into the black hole, I came out in a white hole. But it's not listed on this chart here, but it's somewhere way outside. Maybe, I don't think it's the interloper, but it's out, it's, it's out there. And then if you go back through the, the white hole, it spits you back out the black hole again. Um, I wanna say somewhere on Brittle Hollow. I've yet to visit the Hourglass Twins, Giant's Deep, or Dark Bramble. And there was one particular person that I did visit on Brittle Hollow. I'm trying to remember where he was. All right, that's the drum. Where else are there signals? We have a sounds like a harmonica. That's Esker. What's that one? Someone blowing on a jug really far, far away. A different job. Anyway, let's buckle in and over, shall we? All right. Now we could go to the Addle Rock, which I think I will. Now that we're out in space and I'm not about to crash into the Addle Rock, I have a few places I can look at. Um, no, we don't want to land on Timber Hearth, although I could. There are plenty of other places to visit there. I don't know if I'll make it to the Bramble. Where else? We could give it a go, I guess. Let's head this way. I know that planet's rather large, kind of far away. Yes, I know, the gravity pulled me and twisted me around. Let's make our way to this giant deep. It seems big. Is it just a gas giant? Easy there. I don't want to crash on it. I know, it's 
moving away from us. There we are. Hold on. Come back. We got you. How we get out? There we go. Now we're on the surface. Looks like the, oh wait, this is what we want. Upward jet propulsion. There we go. Oh dear. All right. Ow. Well, we landed. This is not what I expected this planet to be. Look around, huh? All right, exit. Oh, yes. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Danger. Ghost matter detected nearby. Okay. I remember ghost matter. Ghost matter will absolutely destroy you. No, we don't want that. Right. Oh, yes. Let's launch the scout, shall we? And then with the scout, what can we do with the scout? Ah, yes. Um, there's some ghost matter right there. Very painful. Right? At least we've got oxygen here, which is nice. Okay. It's a little twisty. So one of those tunnels has ghost matter in it. I think it's that one. Mistaken. Just make sure I'm looking at this right. Yes, there's a big freaking wall of ghost matter like right there. So we can't go that way. What about this way? No. Here. That's a safe out. Safe enough. Not the direction I want to go in. Oh, are we out of jet? No, we're not out of jet. Uh, can you? Please? I like how the droplets of rain stay on my uh, HUD here. Come on. Come on. No? You're going to make this hard for me, aren't you? There we 
we go. I know there's ghost matter nearby, I just gotta be careful about it. Let's uh, not mess that jump up, shall we? Alright, so I know there's ghost matter that way. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, right, uh, tornado. What the hell happened? Where are we? What the fuck just happened? Okay. Oh, hello. Did we just get... Oh, we did. We got yeeted. Way the hell. Oh my god. Very cool. That's cool. Uh, I guess. Kinda. This is not good. Because with gravity being the way it is, I don't even know if I can reach this ship anymore. Well, that was fun. Oh, here we go. We're underwater again. No? Okay. Cool. So this place is uh, really dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Nothing in your body. It's this tunnel. Well, I don't think I'll be getting back to my ship anytime soon. around these crystals? It looks like it's always around the crystals. Yeah, like, right there is some ghost matter. Right up there. Yep, there too. So no matter which way you go, if there's crystals, you're in trouble. And I'm guessing, yep, that way too. Something about those crystals brings about the ghost matter. Is there a way around it? That might look safe. Ghost matter there, but not this way. What is that thing? Hey, hey, there's a uh, like a camp here. What is this? Script for entry number whatever. Crashes two. Boring crashes zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got Feldsparred. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, can't wait to tell Hornfells and Gossin about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Okay, so I guess they went to Dark Bramble at some point. Some goodies. Ghost Manor. Yeah, I know. It's probably going to be like right there. Right? Because if I remember, it's like right here. Yeah, like right on the other side of that. And the safe way is around the route, not through there. So, what the hell is this thing? It's like some kind of jellyfish thing. Can I? No. It's like a solid object. Kind of. Alright, well, that was fun finding that little campsite. Uh, this doesn't seem useful. 
useful. Uh, is that fuel? That is jetpack fuel. How do I get to my ship? It's not exactly in a... ships that way. I wonder if I can make it. Ow. 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 I'm sure there's more places to check out on that planet, so... First things first, though. <gasps> yeah, right. There's someone else on that planet, so... Let's go pay them a visit. Only this time, not uh, not necessarily directly in the uh, worst part of that planet. Suit up. Then. Bits of bobs and pieces moving around on the surface. What are those? Wait, there. Where is that? No, no, come back. I got you. I got you. Come on. Don't lose me. It's another one of these line puzzle areas. I guess that'll do. Until we get uh, thrown around. Once the ship gets tossed overboard, we're gonna have problems. 
Or that, you know. There's that. Thanks, ship. Appreciate it. Nice, uh, nice soft landing. Oh, I just realized these chunks of rock are all constantly moving around. DJ and Chopper 13 said, let's go. Let's go, dude. DJ Chopper 13 said, so glad I'm here witnessing this. Yes, yes. Um, oh, hey, a door. Right. Okay, that, that one. Alright, so we have this blue thing that I don't want to interact with yet, because I saw a door. I'm really interested in that door. It sucks that I fell off that cliff. I'll have to figure out a way up there. Oh no, here we go. That can't be good. Alright, cool. So, translator tool, do you think? How do you do that? How do I? No? Hmm. What's the button for? Huh? Oh. Statue workshop. Right. What are those? No idea. Okay. Well, we have a door that I can't open. What's these guys? Goat overlords. Alright, here we go. Guess we'll just walk on these walls for a little bit. Who needs gravity anyway? Oh, good. We found trees. And away up to my ship. Also useful. What is this? What are you? Can I read you? No. But I bet this points to something useful. Maybe. Or maybe it once did. Uh, note. Too far away. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if we could shut those off. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. So that's cool. There's like... stuff. Yeah, I know. I can grab the probe. Oh, yes. Okay, here. Fire a probe, right? Boop. Now I can look in there. Hooray. Yeah, so... We'll mess with that later, though. What's this thing? Okay. I missed. Okay, so these are little tornado things. Oh boy. Well, I guess I'll stand in this one. I hope this does something good. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Hi, I'd like to go in there, please. DJ Chopper 13 said, Whoosh. Well, there goes my ship. I think. Can I? Can I get out here? Oh. No. But now that I'm here. Oh no, that's just. Okay, that door was already there. Oh! 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 
Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what those do. I think I know what those do. That's actually really useful. Eh, except for my Porsche, which is probably sinking to the bottom of the planet by now. No, it's just stuck over there for some reason. Oh, oh god. Here we go again. Ah, really? Really, game? This planet sucks! Alright. DJ Chopper 13 said, LMAO, that's not where I parked. No, that is not where I parked. Alright, let's see where this goes. No? Oh. Oh, you know what? I bet this is probably supposed to be a good place to land the ship. Anyway. That's my guess. You know. Because otherwise it just sort of meanders about whenever the freaking storms take over here. Any dang way. Let's get back on the side I was on before. Alright. So, from what I can tell, these little fields protect you from the tornadoes when they get close. DJ Chopper 13 said, I understood that musical reference. Thank you. Okay. So, it seems like there's a way down in here. Goes through the door there? That's the door I could not get through. Uh oh. Uh Safety. Think. All them glowing red lights get me scared. Yep, we're coming up on one. I can see it over there. I think. So much time wasted, though. I wish I could, like, move my probe after I shoot it. But all I can do is, like, teleport it back. I guess... Not my, oh, no, that's just the overhead. Oh yeah, this is the drawing I was originally trying to land on. Okay. Big old glowy path. Oh, this doesn't lead to a white hole, does it? I wonder if it does. It kind of has this feeling like it should. Where am I? Alright. Let's see. Welcome to Giants Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. That's, uh, good to know, but at the same time not useful yet. Okay, okay. This is a teleportation spot that the white hole can take me to. But I don't know... Oh, boy. Um, well... Here we go. Just gonna very carefully do this. No, 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 no. Come on. Easy. Easy. Oh yeah, these things totally seal themselves off every time that happens. 
maybe standing on it will be safe. Yeah. Cool. Now as to figuring out where in the world my ship went DJ this time. DJ Chopper 13 said, you may remember teleporting from White Hole Station. Yes. You ended up in the swirly design like that one. I did. But I think I wound it back up on Brittle Hollow when I did that. And I need one that takes me, you know, to figure out one to get me here. So essentially White Hole's going to be the uh, teleportation system between these different planets. It's just a matter of, like, using them. How do I get down there? That's what I need to figure out. It's hinted at that there's another way in. I mean, I guess I could go for a swim. It doesn't seem to kill me if I go directly in the water. Alright. Down we go. No, 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 no. We actually do want to go down. For now. There we go. That's where we need to go. Alright, cool. So let's go check out the inside of the workshop here. Oh, good. Just unlock that for later. That way I don't have to come back through the water. Sorry, Phlox. I know that's against the rules, but, uh, you know, I don't follow your rules. The statues. The statues. What could they be? These are just like the ones that we have on uh, Bumble Hearth or whatever it's called. Timberheart. Now we're talking. What's this? Oh, that's a recording. Okay. What we got here? Untranslated. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He's DJ not done himself Chopper again, 13 hasn't he? said, This game has five primary mysteries to solve. The statues are centric to one of those mysteries. Makes sense. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Yes, time to die. Each statue will send a, a single Nomize memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Fuel level critical. Have I been burning fuel this whole time? I have. Oops. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, the mask. Right, right. The mask is what you see when you, uh when you die and sends it back to whatever that point was in time or alternate reality or whatever it is. However these things work. Oh, oh, is this a teleportation piece? It is. Give me that. I need that. That right there. No? Uh, maybe? time. Have a good walk. Thank you, sweetie. Bye. DJ Chopper 13 said, this may be a little glitchy in VR, but you're doing it right. Oh. Back in here. Is there some kind of a warning that's a little... Oh yeah, we're definitely hitting one of those now. Got that uh, tornado sound going. So, here we go. Time for the 
for a ride. It's all kind of them to create these little tornado shelters for us. Anytime now. I know, I can bounce around all day long and it won't. Ow. Oh god, did I get out of it somehow? Apparently I got out of it. Okay, I will stay in it until it's gone. I know, three minutes oxygen and it's a true scope. Insert, there it is. Ramey, I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project blocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. Profoundly horrific fate that would be. Stuck in a time loop? Yeah, that would suck. Alright, so there's that one. Whoa, whoa. Hello. Hi. Chopper 13 said, Whoa, oh, oh, what's this? What is that? Can I go in here? Sounds weird. Whoa, okay. Uh, okay, that was tricky. Did I miss something important? that oh wait a minute let me see that again okay dj chopper 13 One, two, said what the hell indeed okay so there are yeah i know i'm running out of oxygen let me out of here there's two masks there, there's a mask there, a mask there. Oh yeah, if I walk out, that's a good way to fall off the cliff. Anyway, let's just uh, keep that handy for later, shall we? I'm running out of oxygen. I should probably make my way to a tree or something. I believe if I go out the door I came in, that's probably the best way to go. Quickly, I need to get to a tree before I pass out. DJ Chopper 13 said, You've done a few loops now, so it's okay to tell you. This song that's playing is called End Times. It indicates the end of the loop. Really? Oh, so the star was about to explode anyway. That's fine. Even if, even so, I, I knew I was on that, that uh, planet for a long time anyway. So. so when that song comes, it's time to die. Okay. 
There was another message there I wanted to read, so I'm gonna go back there again. So, suit up. Buckle in. I missed. Oh well. I didn't think there was anything to explore on there yet anyway. Alright, here we go. Where are we? Bad. Oops. This would be a good place to leave the ship. My guess is that that's probably enough of a gravity well to keep it in place. Who knows? Alright, so the door is open in the past, but I died. So it's closed again. <laughs> All right, so easy access back out. that at least this planet has water on it so if you screw up you're not that messed up So if you look at a statue, the statue sends the signal to the mask, the mask sends it back to you. That's why you have to look at the statue, and that's what happened at the beginning of the game when we saw the statue, we paired with it, and it paired with the mask that keeps bringing us back to life. And I guess this is how the masks work, anyway. Is there an easy way up there? 
doesn't look like it. Oh, I know how to get there. We just have to wait for a storm. Because it's the only time. TJ Chopper 13 said, Good job on figuring this out. But the real question is why. Yeah, I know. We don't know why yet. So, I guess I have to wait around for a storm. Because there's no way for me to get up there with my pitiful rocket boosters until, uh, until that happens. Until this place drops gravity for a second, so. I'm assuming I can't just, uh, do this. time now. I hate burning so much time, but I mean, technically we're in a time loop, so I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? I'm curious, though, if I bring this stone to the white hole. Here we go. It's time. Yes, that's what we need right there. Up we go. Shaking loose, Wallace falls back to the planet. Okay. DJ Chopper 13 said, Oh, good, you snap into the stasis chambers when in VR. I'm curious, That's is sending cool. a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe that this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Oh, look. <laughs> They're talking about the ship of Theseus. Isn't that fun? Cool. I'm curious. Already holding. Okay. All oh, right, scrolls. What do we do with these again? I can't remember. Insert this somewhere else. I wonder if these have a use. Other than, you know, inserting them. To put the writings on the wall. I'll have to remember that, because I'm guessing at some point they do, otherwise you wouldn't be able to remove them. But I want this. And maybe I'll come back for the scroll another time if I figure out a purpose for it. But right now the only purpose I know of that involves these. So let's see. DJ Chopper 13 said, I thought the same thing. They're only good for reading once. They're always the same scroll, regardless of where they are inserted. Yeah. I'm just curious if maybe there's like another purpose to them. Hey, look, my ship stayed in place. My theory was correct. That's good. I don't have to go chasing it down later on the island somewhere else. Alright, let's get off this rock and take this with me. Alright. Strap in. There we go. 
Now then, off to Brittle Hollow. go straight to the black hole we go I'm curious if it's safe at all to land on the uh, volcanic part of the planet we Somewhere. Where are you? Nothing. That's something else. That's not the same space station teleporter that I saw before. What are you? Pal. Okay. If I step here, do I get gravity? I do get gravity here. Alright. But that's a broken thing. Oh dear. Seems we have shaken loose again. Where's that space station at? Is that it? That might be it. I 
feels like it. Maybe that's it. Seems like it. It's got that nice little pattern on the side of it. Hello, interloper. Yeah, this is it. Okay. way. Whoa, too slow. All right, hang on. Uh, we want to go down, down, up, forward, down, forward. Here we are. Now, in here we have you. Hello. Nice. All right. Where were we? I guess we just come back out of here. Ah, there we are. Okay. So we're here again. Now, if I recall... Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Where do you go? You're going down here. Oh, get you. here with it. Hmm. Let's go back up here. Right, we're rotating. That's for Brittle Hollow. Which is where we came from. Already holding Ash Twin Projection Stone. I can't remember where to put the stone though. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through a black hole accident, warp Learn to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay. And that's what this is. This rotates the station, and then when it points to Brittle Hollow, it warps us back. But does this work? Or is there a warp station for every planet? There was that stone. I can't remember what it did though. All right, that's in. This turns on the rotation. And then you choose the direction. It doesn't really matter which one. But what's the point of the stone then? I guess to bring back? I'm gonna keep the one I've got. I guess I'll just wait here until it rotates the right way. DJ Chopper 13 said, Bring the stone back with you. The one that's here or the one that I brought with me? Because I brought the Ash Twin version. And that's Brittle Hollow, I'm guessing. DJ Chopper 13 said, The one you haven't seen yet. Ember Twin. Alright, here we go. Oop. Right. So we lost a second of time. Hopefully things don't explode. But now we're on Brittle Hollow again. And that's how we got in. And this was the message that said that we went back in time. Wait, I saw one of these on uh, the other planet. Warp 
set his charge, step into warp receiver platform to activate. Return warp. Okay. Interesting. And then if memory serves, I've already read these, right? Man, I really hate how that gets disoriented sometimes. The Hanging City, below 50 meters. Yeah, okay. And I ventured in, down there a little bit. Oh, okay. What's gonna happen is at some point I'm gonna get one of these message tubes, but the wall for it's gonna be busted. And so I'll have to take the tube somewhere else to read it. Alright, well, let's put you here. Let's see what we get out of this. I may have seen this before, I may not. We'll find out. Ramy and I reviewed the records you sent Poke, and they appear to show no Maya arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from Whitehall Station. As I've already told Ramy, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a no Maya arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke, as Pi is confident in reading is accurate, is inaccurate. The reading is inaccurate. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon in Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Excuse me. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is this very is the same every time someone works. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandths of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such small degree? I don't disagree. It would mean that I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We'd have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so, too. Alright, so they said it was at the equator of Ember Twin. It's the high energy lab, right? DJ Chopper 13 said, Keep that high energy lab on your to-do list. Right. It's a cool place to visit. Oh, I will. The mask update, or whatever this does, which is not the mask update. What is this? If I walk out, it disappears, right? Okay. back to white hole uh, for just a second. I'm pretty sure I left that other stone there and I'm curious if it works here too. DJ Chopper 13 said, I don't know about that one chief. Don't blow up yet, planet. We need this, uh, just a few more minutes. Fuck. Oh, right, that was the song you told me about. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, my mask is not lit.
we go again. It's interesting, if you die from lack of oxygen, you wake up gasping. Whereas, uh, if you die from, you know, the inevitable explosion of our sun, um, you just sort of calmly wake up. Well, he said I don't know about that one, Chief. That means every planet has kind of like a keystone like that. It's not necessarily required to go from planet to planet. All right, so he said it was the Ember Twin, right? So I guess I'll go to the Hourglass Twins. Or is it the, did he mean the little planet that, no, that's Hollow's Lantern. Okay, which means it's, yeah, that one. That's the equator. Screw it, let's go there. Clearly, the equator is the giant fucking, like, ripped out core in the middle DJ of DJ Chopper 13 said, So how many members of the Outer Wilds have you talked to so far? Just the one. Well, uh, apart from Esker. Uh, the one on Rubble Hollow is the only one I've talked to. There's the warp point. Somebody drumming that way. Wait a minute, this looks familiar. This is another one of those escape pods. DJ Chopper 13 said, Vibing drum beat. That can only mean one thing. My favorite character. Let's go check their ship's locks first, though. I know there's a bunch of stuff to look at here, and there's probably other stuff on the planet I was just on as well. Whoa! Low grav. Right, okay. DJ Chopper 13 said, There is an unidentified signal nearby. Yeah, I know. I don't remember how to check those. Let's see. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone on? DJ Chopper 13 said, "Signal scope." Yeah, I know the signal scope, but I don't remember how to find unidentified ones. Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anana, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. Yeah, my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere on this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crash on the same planet as us. Right, distress signal is how you find, uh, stuff. Come on, gun. Alright, so it's, uh, distress beacon, which is right there. Which I believe is said unidentified signal. 
quantum fluctuations. Interesting. DJ Chopper 13 said, You identify it by getting closer and pointing your signal scope at it. So that thing. DJ Chopper 13 said, It can be useful to identify for later. Identify escape pod 2. I'm thinking I have to like jump boost each time, but I don't necessarily. Right. Begin flights. Log escape pod to vessel has been mortally injured. Super sector. I'm too close. Now launch an escape pod two. Closing imminent, preparing impact. Scan complete. It's improbably prohibitively high. Inhospitable. Do not uh, shelter from the planet surface. The heat from this star's system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I'd recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter in Ona, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, there is still our best chance of survival. We'll form teams and descend to the cave's for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Cautious. Be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Those spooky light the way paths, huh? Alright. I'm here. Oh, where's my power ball? I can't turn that on? Man. Emergency escape hatch. Oh, it was already popped. That's fine. That's right. I forgot about that. They marked all their paths. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until it was an interesting time. Urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror lies at the end of its terminus later, provided we live through this. Well, that's nice. I do like scary parts, don't you? We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct long-term shelter there. The cavern Mellorae found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand. Make sure no one is lost. God only knows how far in the past that happened. The area is probably completely full of sand now. That pit seems lovely. Of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your air supply tank there. We cannot tell how long it will be there, but do not linger for the air is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Ah, breathable. This is why you check everything before you go. Refill your air supply. supply. Got it, Chief. I wonder if exposure to the sun is actually deadly to me. I mean, I know if you go directly to the sun, you'll die, but you know.
The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sand fall at the pit. Then turn left, continue to the room filled with rock column formations, and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. So it's that way, huh? Anything around here? Looks like a bunch of deadly sand. Cautious crossing the chasm ahead, the bridge Malore and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once the on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter sign. Why? Why? Why you do this to me? Well, I guess we're dead. Not really. Oh, the sand is rising. Okay, let's move. All right, and go. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Guess we just go that way. That looks like sand rising. Oh, god damn it. I touched a fucking cactus. Are you shitting me? Entrance is surrounded by cacti. Alright. Here we are. There we are. Okay. Oh, 
Oh good, trees. Oh bad, sand. Uh, let's go to the trees before this place fills with sand, I guess. Get our oxygen back. At the very least, we can do that. Should we build a sun station to power the Ash Twin Projects? I almost can't comprehend this being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Are we sure there are other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station will, must be built if we hope to complete the Ashton project. Unsurprisingly, I, I disagree. I, uh, we're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic for species. Science for science's sake, after all. If we fail, and probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. We should protect this species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Oh my god, there's still more. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try, I believe. We're cautious, the sun station will work, I believe. Hi. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Alright. Hey, man. Uh, a lot of sand. It's interesting, so... Interestingly enough, this place, of course, starts filling with sand as soon as you get in it, and it just continues to fucking fill with sand all the time. Yeah. Flashlight system is obnoxious. What happened there? Okay. Gravity cannon. 20 meters. Looks like there's more I missed down below, but the sand, you know? I'll have to come back here later. Let's go before we die. Oh fuck, is that ghost matter? Every time I see crystals, I think ghost matter. Yep, there is ghost matter. I knew it. Where the hell is it? Where? I know it's here. Is it there? No? That's my cue to get back to work. Unfortunately. Please, please don't burn me. I don't see the ghost matter. Is it at the top of the chamber, perhaps? Right. Oh, where the hell are we? This? Alright, I gotta stop that alarm there. Alright, so we're on the planet's surface and I'm not dying, so that's a good sign. Oh, the sand is still rising. Even out here. I guess this is the gravity cannon? Or whatever they said it was. along, isn't it? 
some kind of a pillar that's running across the surface of the planet. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so... Something that's in orbit around the planet. It has a very, uh, warpy look to it, but there's also a ton of sand coming out of it. Anyway, I'm sure any minute now the sun will blow up and everybody will die. That sand is still rising. Found my ship. Or a ship. This isn't my ship, is it? That does not look like my ship. Drum. Hi, cheat. Or chert. The stars, they're all dying. They've been there have been too many supernovae for it to be anything else. We're next, do you understand? Our sun, by Hearth's name, we're next! What do you mean we're next? It's the stars, you see. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why do we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, it the star charts. Why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but oh no, I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. And now our sun's about to... Oh, I don't feel well. Can I be alone, please? Orchard. He's so small! Yeah, well, he knows the sun's about to pop, and he's right. Actually... We're not that far away from the sun right now, are we? Did it actually get bigger, like, as the game progressed, and it just hasn't gone to blue yet? I know it changes color to a bit more red as we go, but... This gets, like, you can get, like, solar flares and stuff in it. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so this is church ship over here then. We're actually at the point where this planet almost seems like it's going to crash into the sun. That's what I'm looking for. Take me away, baby. What are you? Wait, wait. This is that thing from the, uh on the picture. Yeah, 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 here it is. Ow. Ugh, really? Oh, I need to... Where's the stone? Do I need to bring the stone here? That's probably what I need, isn't it? I need to bring one of the stones here. Well, this is a good place to stop as any. At least we have front row seats. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, is that thing out of sand now? It must be. And when the sand is gone... And this place fills up with sand until that point. Sure. And 
this is, I guess, what's causing the sun to explode? Who knows? Or maybe they're trying to prevent it. Who knows? But it's about to pop. Maybe we'll get a good view from here. That's one big ball of light. There it is. hour kind of thing so just a short little hour hour and a half long stream something like that so and solving puzzles and such Every time I see it, it's at a different angle, too. Well, that's it for me. See you guys.